we're on our way to understanding how the Fed can influence our economy. But to understand that, we need to first understand the role of bonds and more specifically interest rates in our market. You see, we have a choice with what to do with our money, either to use it to consume or use it to save, to make loans. What influences that choice? Interest rates. But to first understand an interest rate, we're going to have to understand the components of a bond. You see, a bond is made of four major components. They're the face value of the bond, the maturity date, the price of the bond, and the interest on the bond. For our purposes, the interest is roughly the face value of the bond subtracting out the price of the bond. And the interest rate is that interest as a proportion of the price of the bond. I, so that's why as a bond's price increases, its interest rate decreases. We can see this on the supply and demand curve for a bond. As the price of a bond goes down, you're more likely to see more bonds demanded because their interest rates are increasing. As the price of a bond goes down, though, you're less likely to see as many bonds supplied on the market because higher interest rates are deterrent for people who want to borrow money. Higher price means lower yield. And lower yield is good for the people who are borrowing, but not good for the folks who want to supply the borrowed money. So changing the supply of bonds, like the Federal Reserve does with open market operations, changes the interest rate, which has an impact on our aggregate demand and on our wider economy.